guys, welcome to our channel Careless Coders. In this video, let us continue making our apps responsive. Till now, we have made our apps responsive for all types of screens of only phones, that is small size screens, for little variations. But as Flutter is a hybrid language and we can use same code base to make web apps or home, our task would not be limited for making our apps responsive only for Android or iOS phones. So in this video, let us make our apps responsive for all of them. So let us start. First, let me just show you what happens if we use this UI for web pages or tablet screens. See, I am dragging this. This is for small size screens. And see what happens if we Further make it for large screens, welcome and sign in increases, font of them and all the text and height of container width, all of them increases and it gives an error for bottom overflow. It looks very bad and ugly as a web page. So it will totally not work for a web page. So we have to do something for this UI so that it works for a web page. Don't worry, we will not change the whole code, we will just make few changes in our code. Base remains the same. So let's start. Let us make a responsive class. What we'll do in this class is, we'll extract the sizes for three types of screens, which is large screen, small screen and a medium screen. And then make our UI accordingly. Let's create our three variables of type widget, final widget, large screen. and medium screen. This is our constructor of this class. we make function first let us make for small screen and name it as is small screen and from this this function will return a media query of width Let us assume 
less than 800 will be weighed for small screens. And similarly, we will assume the weights for medium and large screens. Than 800 for medium screen and less than 1200. and more than 1200 for large screens. Now let's work in build. We'll return a layout builder which will take a builder, context and constraints. And we'll return if the constraints dot max width are more than 1200, it will be a large screen. and medium screen and small screen Our responsive class is ready. We'll use this class to make our apps responsive. Let us import this class in our homepage dot dart responsive. First, let us make text of welcome responsive so we'll use ternary operators for this we'll check responsive dot is small screen this means if our screen is small then it will return width by 20 else it will return width by let us give it 60 or let it be 60 only. Now let us run our app.
and now try to drag it so welcome re remains perfect it works perfect for all screens similar way let us correct the sign in part also and all the text password for what password sign in and that last line Just try changing that if our app is in flat screen, we get our ball all the four corners as rounded, or and remains the same for small screen. So let us try doing this. We will use ternary operator. And here we go. So it is starting looking good now. So in this way, let's do all.
this way we can achieve web pages and tablet screens for same UI. It is for the easiest method to do this as we didn't change lot of code but we only made few changes in our code and and are able to achieve a, a responsive app through same code base. This was all about responsive app using responsive class. We'll bring more techniques to make our app responsive in other videos. Make sure you subscribe our channel Careless Coders and stay tuned. Thank you.